guys, Alex here. Today we're going to talk about WGU once again, and this is going to go over, is WGU legit? It's an online school, you've probably seen a lot of advertisements, it's a private university, it has a lot of students, you know, it, you see a lot of people graduating fast in under two years, under a year and a half, you start asking yourself, okay, is this degree legit? Is this school legit? Is the stigma bad? Is an employer going to see that a bunch of people are graduating in a year, year and a half? And is it going to get a bad reputation? The answer to all those questions is, you know, WGU has a terrific reputation. Uh, they are very careful about their reputation. Um, they try to make sure that the school is in good standard, uh, good accreditation, um, nonprofit. It's all good vibes, basically. And like if you Google search WGU legit, if you Google search WGU degree worth it, all those types of things, and it's going to be ma majority good stuff. So WGU has an excellent reputation. It all depends if whatever job you're applying to has some kind of stigma against online degrees in general. But WGU is not a profit school. It is not one of those degree mill schools. I won't mention universities because I really don't want to throw schools under the bus, but there are big for-profit universities that advertise like crazy and their degrees are not worth much at all. You know, once again, I won't name any schools, but there are quite a few universities like that. WGU is not one of those universities. It is a nonprofit, very, uh, very good university. Not only that, but you actually learn to pass these tests and to pass these projects in the tech degrees. You actually have to know your stuff. You actually have to learn it really, really well. So I think WGU, their degrees prepare you for the job more so than any other online school. Now, does it prepare you as much as a in-person school would? I would say it's debatable, but if I'm going to be perfectly honest, I do think that a in-person education uh, if you, if that's for you, right? Like if you're able to pay attention in person, because a lot of people are not able to pay attention in person. If you are one of the people that can pay attention in person, then yes, you probably would learn a little more in an online school. You know, you do have the professor, you have classmates, you can pick everybody's brain, uh, a little more instruction, things like that. But online education is perfectly fine, especially WGU because you'll have great materials at the school. You can also go for outside materials. YouTube has so much great stuff nowadays, and there's so many cheap stuff you can buy too, from like Coursera, um, so many different websites that you can you know, buy stuff and cheap courses, whatever it is. So many free and very affordable options to learn coding, to learn basically anything really. So WGU, fantastic school where you're gonna learn a lot uh, great reputation there. If you go on LinkedIn and type in WGU and whatever the career field is you're looking for, you know, type in WGU computer science or type in WGU accounting, you'll find plenty of people that are employed. Now, it depends what degree you're searching for. And this goes for any online college or any university in general, even in person universities. If you are looking up a degree that's not very employable, you might see a lot of people not employed with that degree. You know, a lot of Bachelor of Arts, liberal arts degrees will have a lot of, you know, unemployment um, or a job that they're not, it's not relevant to their degree. You know, it's like a, they're employed, but it's not relevant to what they graduated in. So that's something you do have to be wary of when it comes to liberal art degrees. The good thing about WGU is almost all of their degrees are focused on getting you a job. I would say the only degree there that is not focused on getting you a job is probably the business communications degree, which is like a filler degree at any school, but you can still get a job. You can try to get a communications uh, type of job, some kind of community manager, some kind of government job, you know, some kind of a, even try to be a sports broadcaster. There, there's a lot of avenues you can go down, but you know, for the most part, it all depends what type of degree that you want and WGU degrees are valued, I would say just the same as any other school. You know, when a job is looking at your resume and looking at your degree, 
I would say 95 plus percent of the time, that employer is not going to care where you went to school. Uh, well, let's talk about the tech field, for example, like being a software engineer. You can go look at software engineers that work at Google and Amazon and all these fang companies. And a lot of times their bachelors and their masters are from schools that are schools you may have never heard of, sometimes not even regionally accredited. Although I do not advise getting a non-regionally accredited bachelor degree. But you'll see a lot of people working as a software engineer at these companies with schools that are online schools, including Western Governors University. Uh, in the school I graduated from, Thomas Edison, you'll see a lot from there as well. A company wants to see one of two things or both. In the tech industry, if you are a new grad, it is going to be hard to get a job. But one thing they want to see is they want to see that you have a degree. They don't care where it's from. They don't care what your GPA is. They want to see that you do, you do check the box of a degree. That's a requirement and that you have some projects on your resume, some kind of engineering projects. And then you can walk them through those projects on the interview and that you can also pass a leak code style interview, uh, you know, obviously during the interview. So that is something that they want to see. As for other industries, they want to see experience, um, experience and a degree. So, you know, th there are many ways that you can go getting experience, such as getting an internship, basically in any field. Uh, in tech, they've become really competitive. You can still find a lot of uh, a lot of internships. Usually, internships pay, but not all of them. But like I said, you at this point, you're just trying to get experience on your resume, and however you can go about doing that, you want to do that. So, also, it doesn't exactly have to be a formal job either. You can do some freelance work on Fiverr or Upwork, or you know, you can do freelance work for some kind of small company, and then just put on your resume, hey, software engineer for this place. Um, you can put software engineer, Upwork, freelancer. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different things you can put on your resume, and especially if you can have some projects to back it up too. You know, your resume is not gonna look perfect trying to get your first or second software engineering job. You know, you're gonna have to really dress it up um, and I will go over some advice on how to dress up your resume in the future, but you definitely want to, you know, put whatever you can as experience. Uh, your, your goal is to get callbacks. As a new grad, your goal is to get callbacks. You don't care about anything else. Sure, you want to pass the interview, you want to give a good interview, but the goal is to get callbacks. The goal is to get interviews in the first place. So put whatever you can as experience, even if it's not exactly formal. Uh, you can even message like really small companies and be like, hey, can I internship for you? You don't have to pay me. Not that I'm advocating for you guys to go do work for free. That's not exactly what I'm saying. But like if you really want experience on your resume and internships are turning you down, jobs are turning you down, like I said, you could find some really small company on LinkedIn message them be like hey can i please internship for you linkedin's a great tool where you can cold you can cold call hiring managers um or i should say cold email actually cold message whatever whatever phrase you want to use but you can basically drop a message to somebody who's like a hiring manager or a general manager of like a small tech place like hey i'll do a little bit of free work can i please put like three four months of a software engineering internship on my resume it would mean the absolute world to me you know, a lot of these companies are open to these types of things as long as you sign a contract that you're not that'll be free that you know non-disclosure that you're not going to say anything about it etc cetera, etc cetera. so a lot of times these companies don't want to take on the liability of a free internship you know they're going to be worried that you're going to be upset you're not getting paid and you're going to you know have retribution and all these things right but like i said one of the easiest paths to get in uh, get experience on your resume is to message some company on linkedin and try to get a small company to give you that internship that's like a very kind of like informal internship but it will go on your resume that you can say is like a four month internship and already that looks extreme your, your resume is like 10 times better if you have an internship you can put in your experience section now this may mostly just goes for the tech industry not for other industries but it can apply basically to all industries so 
to get back to the point, is WGU legit? Absolutely. It's 100% legit. I don't think it really matters where you go to school at, you know? There is stigma against some of the big, big for-profit universities, okay? Once again, I won't name the universities, but there is stigma towards those. Those can still get you a job too, but there is a little bit of stigma there. Whereas WGU has no stigma, you know, like a lot of, a lot of, uh, companies are probably never even going to hear of WGU before. And, you know, they're not going to care. Like they'll do a Google search and make sure it's accredited. And, you know, they're going to see that it's nonprofit and like, it's a perfectly fine school. Um, you know, when you Google WGU, it's all great stuff. Like they're not going to care, you know, like every once in a blue moon, you might get a hiring manager or a general manager that, you know, maybe they went to an Ivy league school and, you know, they, they don't want to hire you because they have their own bias. You don't want to work for that company anyways. You do not want to work for that person. So you dodged a bullet anyways. But that is a rare situation. I think you're only going to experience that like 2% of the time, in my opinion. Well, like I said, these this, that's just a kind of a made-up statistic by me. But I would say that's probably what you'd be looking at is around 2-3% of the time. Like I said, most companies do not care about where you went to school. The, de the degree is a human resource checkbox. And then once you get on the interview, they're going to look at experience, projects, and how well you interview. They're going to dig into your personality. Because believe it or not, guys, personality is a thing on interviews, okay? I'm not saying you have to be exciting, but they want to know that you're a good fit a good fit for their company, you know, that you can socialize well, you know, that you can explain things well, that you'll be a good team member, uh, that you can own up to you messing up, that, you know, you're not too arrogant, things like this, you know, they need to know things about you. So once again, WGU, very legit school, highly recommend WGU. It's still my most recommended school. If you want to hack a degree, I have many, many videos where you can hack a degree. You can get a WGU online degree in a year or less. You can do that by doing ACE credits, which WGU accepts as college credit. You can do these on websites such as study.com. You can basically do 90 college credits in six months and then transfer to WGU and do six months there, 30 credits, and get a college bachelor degree. So I do have 68% off study.com in the description if you guys are interested in that i would like to thank you guys for watching it means the world to me if i helped you in any way please like and subscribe thank you so much bye